Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain all the types of present tense guys, right? All the types of present tense. So we have got present tense and it has got four forms guys. So we're going to write down present tense now first. Present. That's it. So as I said, they've got four forms. So the first one is going to be present simple present simple and then after that we got here present continuous okay the third one is present perfect present perfect and then the fourth form is present perfect continuous guys Present perfect continuous. That's it. All right, so now we've got four forms, right? So we've got present tense, and it has got four forms present simple, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. For present perfect, in higher levels, we also say present perfect simple. So I'm going to add it as well right in higher levels or we can just refer to it as present perfect present perfect and this present continuous in some books they say present progressive progressive okay that's fine it means something progressing something is happening something is continuing continuing okay so how are we going to use these forms right so let's give examples for each form. Okay. So present simple is going to be, let's say, I play every day. I play every day. You see? I play every day. And present continuous, I am playing now. See? I am playing now. Now, present perfect, I've just played. So I have, I have just played. You see, I have just played. Now, present perfect continues. I have been. I have been playing since 2 p.m. You see, guys? So these are the examples. Now, what what do they mean? And how how can we use present simple and present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous? Okay, now we have highlighted for you now. So uh, I play every day. This present simple we use it for routine activities, right? One one way of using present simple, uh, we use it for routine activities, right? Like every day, every month, every week, and we also use uh, frequency adverbs like sometimes, often, never, uh, usually. These frequency adverbs we use with present simple to talk about routine activities, or if I want to give general information about something then we use present simple guys okay so how about present continuous so present continuous we use it to say that something is happening at the same time of talking i am doing what so i am explaining right i am explaining present tense present tense forms right so here i am playing now this means like something is happening now right and there are other uses of present continuous as well but i'm going to explain uh when we talk about present continuous itself okay so usually there are two ways of using present continuous and then the most common one is the one that you can see in the example i am playing now so we, we, we use present continuous to say that something is happening at the same 
at the time of talking. Okay. Second way of using it, we use it for arrange it future plans. Arrange it future plans. Right? Maybe I can write it down here. So second use of present continuous. I am playing. You see, I am playing present continuous football at 3 p.m. tomorrow. You see, tomorrow is future. Tomorrow is future. But this is a certain thing. There's a certain arranged plan. It's happening for sure. Because I have arranged this with my friends, maybe. And my friends, they know about it. Right? So it's an arranged future plan. We also use present continuous. Now, present perfect, as you can see, I have just played. There's a structure here. After subject, after I, we must use have or has. And then after that, we can use just or already. And then past participle. Past participle, guys. So I have just played. It means recently finished action when we talk about recent events recent actions something recently finished or happened then we use present perfect but we should not say the time or we should not mention when okay this is very specific rule of present perfect because present perfect we don't have Distance in other languages is a very specific for English language. So it stays between between past simple and present simple, right? Something happens in the past in a very recent way, and it has got still effect to the present time. So I have just played. Maybe like I'm sweating. You know, I've played football and I can see that I'm sweating. Uh, so that means I have just played. That's, that's the present perfect. Now, present perfect continues, as you can see, have been. Have been, and because there's a continuous, because, like, whenever we've got continuous, guys, we should have ing, guys, right? As you can see here, continuous here, present continuous, and we've got ing, right? The present perfect continues, because the present perfect, I say have been, then continues playing. What does it mean? I have been playing since 2 p.m. We use this tense to say that something has started in the past and that is still happening. That is still continuing. Right? I have been playing since 2 p.m. That means I started playing at 2 o'clock p.m., right? 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I am still playing it. So usually we use this tense, present perfect continuous. To talk about duration, duration, something is happening. So usually it answers the question of how long. So present perfect continues. Yeah, present perfect continues. It answers the question of how long. Duration. In other words, is duration. So we use present perfect continues to talk about duration. And that action is still happening. And there is another way of using present perfect continuous. Um, when I'm going to explain present perfect continuous itself, I'm going to go in detail, but I'm going to be very brief now here. We can also say present perfect continuous uh, about an action or event that has just happened, just finished, but you can see the direct effect of that action. Direct effect of that action. So I'm just going to write here, for example, um, if I say it has been raining, it has been raining, it has been raining. You see? So let's say, like in the morning, I woke up and then I opened the window. When I opened the window, outside is wet, trees are wet, but there is no rain. But what I can see from the trees and from the ground, and I can see like puddles there, water, so I can see that rain has just stopped, and I can see the effect of the rain, so in this case, English people, they say, oh, it has been raining, oh, it has been raining, so this is the second way of using present perfect continuous, guys.
Okay, so the first one is for duration. That is just, you know, an event. How long has an event been happening? And then the second one is, we use it for, uh, something has just finished, and we can see the direct effect of it. Okay, so like it has been raining, guys. All right. So obviously, I don't want to go in detail. Uh, we can use, for example, I play every day. Uh, if it's he, obviously, it will be he plays every day. Prison simple, right? He plays every day. If I want to make question for the prison simple, do you play every day or does he play every day? So do, does, we use for prison simple questions, right? Uh, for present continuous, if I want to say he or she, I have to say he is playing now or she is playing now. Negative, he is not playing now or I am not playing now, right? Present perfect, if I want to make question, have, I need to put before I, like, have I just played or have you just played, etc. Present perfect continues also, if I want to make negative, I haven't been playing since 2 p.m. Or if I want to make question of it, then I should put have before I, right? Before I here. If I want to make question of present perfect continuous have, should come before the I, the subject. So have I been playing since 2 p.m.? Or have you been playing since 2 p.m.? All right, guys. So this is the explanation for present tense forms. And uh, I'm going to make separate videos for each of them in detail uh, in the next videos. So that's enough for today. Thanks for your time and have a good day. Bye-bye.